Good morning. Uh, once again, we're in Ephesians chapter 4, and uh, we left off yesterday looking at the, the marks of maturity, what it is that uh, the Lord wants in our lives. He give, He's given the church certain individuals, gifted individuals, to equip the saints so that they march on to maturity. What is it, however, that could sidetrack us from maturity? What keeps us from growing in Christ and becoming what God wants us to be? Well, he says if, we, if we're not growing in maturity, uh, that we have a problem. So we are growing in maturity, and as a result, he says, verse 14, we are no longer to be children, tossed here and there by waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, by craftiness and deceitful scheming. So he's saying here this, if we're on the wrong pathway, if we are deceived by false teachers, if we're, if we're sidetracked by this fad or that theory or that false, false doctrine, we do not grow in Christ. We have to be equipped. We have to be growing. We have to be becoming more knowledgeable of Christ himself in order for us to not be taken in by these false isms that tend to toss us about. Some years ago, I was in, you know, on a beach in, in Brazil, actually. It was a beautiful beach. I've, I've been very seldom ever in the ocean. And I was going out in the, into the waters. I just kind of wanted to see what it would be like to be kind of hit by the big waves. What would it do to me? And so I went out a little bit, and here came a, a big wave in there, and it hit me, and it turned me completely over. I mean, I just was absolutely uh, turned over. I, I had no way to get any footing. I had no way whatsoever of gaining traction. I was at the mercy of the waves until I could finally, uh, they, they subsided, and I got back on my feet. That's kind of the picture he gives us here. These winds of doctrine are, are, they are, can toss us about in such a way that we have no footing. We have no grounding, and therefore we do not grow. We do not mature. And so we are. it's necessary, absolutely necessary, folks, that we are trained in the Word of God so that we are equipped to not be tossed here and there. On the positive side, verse 15, he says, But speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up into all aspect into him who is the head, even Christ. <clears throat> so what is it that gives us our footing? in the midst of these waves, well, it's speaking the truth in love. Now, here he's not talking about uh, speaking to one another in loving manners. That, that's, matter of fact, in verse 25 of this same uh, chapter, he talks about that, that when we speak to one another, we should communicate truthfully and lovingly. But this is more spe specific here. He's talking about uh, the speaking of the Word of God, the truth of God's Word to one another, so that we are being established, we're gaining footing. Uh, and we are to do this, however, in the context of love. But there, there's nothing that uh, is more deadly in some ways, I suppose, than, than truth or doctrine or, or biblical teaching that is done harshly, dogmatically, uh, with, with a tyrannical attitude. It just is not how people grow in Christ. People are turned off by that. Or if they buy into that, they become hard-hearted, judgmental people. Instead, the Word of God, the truth of God's Word, which is so wonderful and so precious and equips us for every good work, that truth of God's Word should be communicated by those who love Christ and those who love His people and who are communicating it in loving ways. And when that happens, he says in verse 15, we are to grow up into all aspects unto Him who is the head, even Christ. Through this means of communicating the truth of God's Word in love, people grow up into Christ. Uh, that's the way to have a life that is a wonderful life in Him. Well, we'll finish this off by looking at verse 16 tomorrow that goes a little bit different direction from the rest of the passage.